Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. Last time we did a deep conditioner that you guys seemed to really like, but it was a little complex and I wasn't really happy about the stability. So I wanted to do another deep conditioner, but I'm gonna simplify it. And we're gonna use ingredients that you could possibly readily find in your home. So starting with the water phase, as usual, we are only using two ingredients. That's distilled water and raw honey. That's it. Now honey is an, a, a great humectant. It's gonna draw in moisture to your hair. It also has some awesome conditioning properties. So it works with helping with elasticity and manageability. It's just overall perfect for a deep conditioner, okay? So that's it. We're gonna place our water uh, phase into the water bath as usual and place it on the stove to melt down, okay? Now we're gonna move on to our oil phase. I'm using pumpkin seed oil in honors of the fall season. You guys, I'm so happy that it's starting to get cooler. Now this oil is packed with nutrition, vitamins, antioxidants. It's gonna help with hair loss, reduce flaking, reduce irritation to the skin and scalp, okay? So this is really great for body care and hair care, you guys. Um, so I'm gonna follow that up with mango butter. Mango butter is super nutritious as well. It's gonna help strengthen the hair, lock in moisture and it also provides your product with a just perfect consistency and the overall feel is very light and soft and silky and it's going to be great for skin and hair okay you guys i'm going to also add btms 50 it's my favorite emulsifier um, it's simple to use and it also gives great conditioning properties if you have another emulsifying wax that's easier to use or more readily at home you can definitely use that but btms 50 is just my all-time favorite okay so that's it for my oil phase i'm going to plop it into the water bath and place it on the stove to melt down and then we're going to come back and combine the water and the oil phase as usual. All right, we're back. So we're now going to combine our water phase with our oil phase using an immersion blender to blend it very well, okay? Now, don't be like me. I left my oil phase out for a little while and it started to cool and start to re-solidify. One thing about BTMS 50, it takes a very long time to melt down. And when it finally does melt down, it still tries to re-solidify almost immediately after you take it off the stove. So just be careful of that, you guys. But the immersion blender is definitely gonna blend this up perfectly well. It's not any issue, but I'm just giving you fair warning, okay? So anyway, blend this until it is smooth. All right, so this seemed like it blended really, really well. The water and oil phase seemed like they have combined evenly. So I'm just gonna use some saran wrap and then place this in the freezer. You do not have to do this. You can leave it at room temperature. Sometimes I'm just a little impatient. I place it in the freezer so it can go ahead and cool down faster, okay? Um, but I left it in for maybe a good 30 minutes and when I took it out, you guys, oh my God, it has such a beautiful, thick consistency. Um, I just mixed it up and it was perfect. I didn't use any extra thickener, stabilizers, no xanthan gum this time, no extra fatty alcohol. Alcohols. And I know in the last video, a lot of people were like, why did, why are you using alcohols? Um, doesn't it dry out your hair? Um, what I'm going to say is just check your ingredients when you buy them, you guys. Not all alcohols are created equally. Some of them are plant-based and they are considered emollients, okay? So they're going to give you lock-in moisture into your hair. And they're going to keep your strands plumped and, and just beautiful, okay? So they're going to actually provide some great benefits to your product. And they're going to also, usually they help to thicken the product, okay? So um, it's nothing bad and you can definitely use them. They're safe for curly hair, natural hair, whatever kind of hair you want to use. And it's not going to dry your hair or your skin out, okay? So just make sure you're reading your ingredients so you can know which alcohols are best for you. Also, last time I used xanthan gum, you guys. Xanthan gum, what I've realized, is really just does not combine or work well with BTMS 50. You might get a great emotion at first, but it's it ends up, I don't know, becoming very, I don't really, I can't really explain how it becomes. Um, it's still 
somewhat stable but it just gives it a consistency that I just really don't like so if I can avoid xanthan gum with my BTMS um emotions I'm just going to try to avoid it okay all right so here I am adding of course my essential oils my vitamin E antioxidant to protect my product and then I'm also using liquid drummer plus as my preservative okay um yeah just the usual this is during the cool down phase of course and that actually completed my product that was it you guys so it was very super easy super simple don't you think a lot more simple than the last deep conditioner i think this one i think more people will be able to make is easier it's more simple and it's actually more stable it's more stable so i'm really excited about this one and um i think a lot of you guys would appreciate the simplicity of this one um so i'm just using some ph strips to kind of make see if i need to add citric acid and i just determined i didn't really need it um you can add citric acid but you want to be careful with citric acid you guys it can thin out your product um ph strips are not very accurate <laughs> um i do have another way of measuring my ph but i have to um recalibrate it so this time i just used the ph strip for convenience but you definitely don't have to use that I think there are tools that are better to use okay all right so that completes this deep conditioner what do you guys think about it would you give it a try leave a comment down in the comment section down below I love hearing from you guys I try to reply back as much as I can but um, I can't reply back to everyone so I do try to answer some questions and concerns um, throughout the video but please you guys uh, leave a comment down below and I definitely will try to get back to you I did not get this container from Amazon so you will not find this link in the description box I got this actually from Walmart but if you guys are looking for uh, any of the Amazon products that I use, usually it's in the description box. And if I can't get in the description box, I put it in the comment section, okay? Also, I use my thermal label printer in order to print off this label for this deep conditioner. You guys, <laughs> you do not have to buy a thermal printer in order to make labels for your DIYs. You guys, the printer is expensive. Somebody pointed it out in the last video. I do not expect you guys to buy it. This is just what I had on hand. I used the printer to do my shipping labels. That is it. But sometimes it's convenient for my DIYs just to make a thermal printer label. So the video was requested. I made the video, but I do not expect you guys to buy an expensive printer uh, just to do thermal labels there are much 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 more convenient and cheaper ways to make uh, labels for your DIYs than using a thermal printer but if you have one on hand hey it could be a really nice hack okay all right so that's it you guys I'm obsessed with the consistency of this product is way better than the last deep conditioner and more stable using less ingredients how crazy is that you guys definitely give this one a try um, and yeah make sure you're following me subscribe hit the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos you guys I got some awesome things coming up for you if you follow me on Instagram you probably already know that I partnered back with Oslo Organics to bring you guys the Oslo 2019 holiday series. This will be all about butter stars, okay? We're gonna introduce three amazing butters over a course of three months um, for the holidays, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. And each month I will show you how to use these amazing butters in some simple DIYs. And you will have the opportunity to win one of the butters each month. How cool is that, you guys? So definitely stay tuned for that. I will have more details in some upcoming videos, okay? And also, right Right now on Yaya's Creations on Instagram, you have the opportunity to win the whole entire Shebe lines from Yaya's Creations, okay? Um, you can enter on Instagram, but you can also enter on YouTube if you do not have an Instagram. Just look down in the description box below. It will show you exactly what you have to do to enter on YouTube. And then I will also leave the link for Instagram so you can enter on Instagram if you would like to enter there as well, okay? I will pick the winner, I believe March 18th. All the details will be down in the description box, you guys. So go ahead and enter below. So yeah, that's it. I have some other awesome things coming up you guys so definitely stay tuned i love giving back i want to give back to you guys and yeah thank you so much for your support i really do love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye don't want the morning to come